A solemn moment for dozens of people gathering here behind a home in southwest Baltimore, remembering Joseph Graham, a life gone too soon. During turmoil and heartache, as candles led the community side by side with the family of Joseph Graham, the 20 year old killed in a gas explosion in northwest Baltimore. We have very, very close knit family, very, very tight. And we have a hole in our fabric. And just like we come together on good times, when one of us hurt, we always band together. Graham, along with Lonnie Harriet, died in the Monday morning blast that leveled three row homes on Labyrinth Road, leaving multiple people injured. <laughs> BGE confirming this week the deadly gas explosion was not caused by its equipment. The scene late Saturday now sectioned off days after debris was strewn across the neighborhood. The force of the blast so strong it damaged homes several blocks away. We're interviewing, we're meeting with families who have totally lost their home, uh, have deaths or injury, and we're having a one-on-one -on -one conversation about what their needs are. Remembered as a shiny student at Morgan State University, Graham, who we're told was at a friend's house at the time of the blast, now gone forever, leaving the hearts of many shattered. Everybody is out here because he touched everybody's heart. Joseph was out. He was our baby. He was our good baby. We will recover. I, this I know, but it's so heavy right now. It's unbelievable. And the community will gather again tomorrow, Sunday morning, to help clean up the mess left behind in Northwest Baltimore. But for now, reporting in Southwest Baltimore, I'm Trey Ward, WBAL TV, 11 News.